Catholics devoted to St. Padre Pio filled the streets of Williamsburg to honor the holy man after he returned to the Lord in 1968. This is a, a saint of our days. Santa Maria. Padre Pio was a Capuchin monk from Italy, born in the late 19th century. During his ministry, he gained a reputation for granting miracles. My husband had a stroke and they had to do brain surgery. I went to the recovery room and I just went to fix his pillow. Mm -hmm. And right under his pillow was a little medallion of Padre Pio. After his ordination to the priesthood, Jesus and Mary appeared to Pio and gave him the wounds of Christ, the stigmata. He was assigned to San Giovanni Rotundo, an Italian agricultural community. And as news of his stigmata spread, Pio's holy reputation increased. I was uh, in the fifth grade, we have a trip to go to see uh, this man, this monk. He was a very humble man. I saw him live in Italy, San Giovanni Raton. He was a uh, tough father, tough, he was tough. After the outdoor procession from St. Francis of Paola Church, the Bishop of Brooklyn, Nicholas DiMarzio, led the devotees in an Italian Mass in honor of Padre Pio at Our Lady of Mount Carmel Church. He's very, very good at answering prayers, and that's why I think people pray to him. Bishop DiMarzio learned Italian from his immigrant grandparents and looks up to the patron saint of Italy. He is a really uh, one who can, can relate to as a confessor, as somebody who uh, tried to help people become better. And a saint who has inspired people all around the globe. Each year, some seven million pilgrims visit the Padre Pio Shrine in San Giovanni Rotundo. Brooklynites say that's because Padre Pio is a saint for the people. After his death, he's more alive now than one before. I look at him, I talk about him, I feel like, uh, you know, he listened to me. In Williamsburg, Katie Angusser, Currents News.